What's going on? This is Kareem from DJBooth.net, and I'm here in the lab to give you guys a really quick review video of the new Pioneer XDJ XZ all-in-one DJ system. So what we have here is the latest all-in-one DJ system from Pioneer DJ, and it's the XDJ XZ, and it will work perfectly in harmony with your laptop if you want to use this also with Rekordbox DJ. It also works perfectly in harmony with Virtual DJ, and coming very, very soon, it's going to be working with Serato DJ Pro as well. I had an early prototype of that. Everything works very, very nicely in all three of the software suites. But the real story here is that this is the XDJ XZ and it's a full size DJ system and it feels exactly like having two CDJ 2000 Nexuses with your 9000 Nexus right in the middle. It has a very familiar feel and layout to everything and that's going to be the huge, huge selling point for this unit here is that it's very familiar to those who want to go into the club and show up with just your USB stick and your headphones and be ready to rock out. It will be almost identical in feel and in all of your different use cases it's going to almost feel exactly the same when you're going from one system to the next and that familiarity is really what the xdj xz is all about i was pretty disappointed just like the rest of you were when this was announced because i thought it was going to be the new next gen system of pioneer gear and what we're getting is kind of like a mishmash of different technologies that Pioneer DJ already has on the market in order to make one pretty cool controller, but it is only a two channel standalone system here. The only way to unlock the other two channels is to purchase two external XDJ or CDJ 2000 Nexus decks, so that way you can plug them in and everything will be in sync. Or you can use this in four different decks by using Virtual DJ, Serato DJ, or Pioneer Record Box DJ with your laptop. Which kind of defeats the case here because this type of system, it's pretty pricey and you're going to want to have all of the utilization of the onboard computer system that you want to use because... You would want to get something like this in order to use it as a standalone unit. If you're looking for something that is going to be attached to the computer, you may want to go in the direction of the DDJ-1000 or the DDJ-1000 SRT if you're into Serato DJ. So first up, what we're going to do is look at what we have here as a build quality unit and it's very very big this is one of my minor gripes for mobile DJs that is maybe for a club installation they would be happy with this size and with how big it is but with a mobile DJ or a person who needs to bring it here and there or set it up in different DJ booths is going to be a tall order because this is very big very heavy it's mostly all plastic on the bottom it has cutouts for your handles as you can see here on both of the sides the bottom is also all plastic but you can see See underneath the inputs and outputs in the rear of the unit that there are metal plating underneath the plastic bits so that way you're getting more protection than just your standard plastic shell you also have a really cool touch which is the metal plating on the top you have metal plates on the top of the decks and of course a metal plate on top of the mixer all of your faders and all of your jog wheels feel very very familiar and very similar all of your knobs feel very similar to the Nexus setup the flagship setup so again that's really really a big big sell for the xdj xz it can't be understated what djs feel is what they want to feel and be the best that it can and with the feel between this and the Prime 4, this definitely takes the cake. It has better jog wheel feel, better knobs feel, better fader feel. But we'll get into all that when we go and break this down component by component. So again, more on the build quality. It's really, really big. It has a lot of size to it. But that's good for some people because, of course, they're going to want to look more professional. And this definitely does the part. You have your single high-resolution screen in the middle, your jog wheels with the screens in the middle on the sides, and your very familiar DJM 900 Nexus-style mixer in the middle. So let's go on to the inputs and outputs. Right here on the front, we have your two headphone jacks. You have your quarter-inch and your mini. And we can go to the back of the controller for all of your inputs and outputs. And all the way to the left, you have your link cable, so that way you can link your CDJs or XDJs for channel 3 and channels 4. You also have your USB connection, so that way you can connect this to your laptop for your record box or your virtual DJ or Serato DJ playback. You have your balanced TRS, your master XLR, and your master 2, which is also RCA. And then you have a send unbalance as well. You have a ground post here for your record decks for when you're using these with your phono inputs. You have phono and line levels for both channels 3 and 4, along with an auxiliary input with its own volume control knob on the front. 
You also have a microphone one and a microphone two. These are both combo jacks, so that way you can easily plug in either a quarter inch or XLR. Then you have your AC power adapter. One more note on the inputs. The inputs are DVS ready, so you can use your turntable decks on the outside of this in order to work with Rekordbox DJ DVS or Serato DJ DVS as long as you have that DVS upgrade expansion pack. Also here on the top front, you have your USB 1 and your USB 2. You can also record using the USB 2, whatever you have plugged in there, so that way you can record your mix. You have USB stop buttons below that, so that way you can easily disconnect your USBs without corrupting any of your files. And then you have a track mark, so that way when you're recording, you can mark the tracks as you play different songs from your DJ setup. So let's go on, put this on the desk, turn it on, and see what the XDJ XZ has to offer. Then at the end of this video, we're going to let you guys get a quick comparison between this and the Prime 4. I don't have the Prime 4 here, but I'll tell you what I like on one and what I might not like on the other and vice versa. And then we'll give you a rundown on the pros and cons and see what we thought all about the Pioneer XDJ XZ. All right, so here it is, the XDJ XZ. And we'll start right here in the middle where we always start. And that's right here at the mixer at the bottom of the crossfader. This crossfader feels like a Magvel crossfader. I didn't do my research to confirm that yet, but this is one of the best crossfaders that I felt on a controller in a long time. It's very smooth, very, very crisp to the cut, and it just feels like something that's pulled from like the DJM S9 or some other very high powered fader that they have in mixers today. In order to adjust this mixer, or the fader on the mixer, you guys can go into the utility menu, and that way you can adjust the cut-in or the curve adjustment right there on board in the menu. Next, you have your line faders. These feel just like the line faders you can get from the 900 Nexus edition. They have a nice feel to them. They feel exactly the same there. You have your crossfader assign switches, A, B, or through for each one of your four channels. You also have your Q button, so that way you can have things in your headphones that the audience doesn't hear, or you can hear exactly what the audience is hearing by queuing up your master all the way up here. You also have your sound color effects. You have space, dub, echo, sweep, noise, crush, and filter. These are the color effect knobs here. Very good to include these along with your other effects, just like they have on the 900 Nexus. You have your parameter knob that adjusts your sound color effects. Down here, you have a headphone section. You have your level and your mix, cue, or master knobs. Then if you go over here to your right, you have your effects section, your beat effects. You have your echo, delay, ping pong, spiral, reverb, trans, filter, flanger, and everything else that you guys have come to expect on your 900 Nexus along with the helix. Then you have your assignment knob. This allows you to assign the effect to any one of your different channels or your different masters. And you can see all of your selections up here on the screen as well. You have the different time divisions of your effect using this knob. And you also have your level depth knob so you can up the intensity or lower the intensity of the effect. And you have your traditional on off button. You also have your beat change here so that way you can change the different beat effects beats you can also auto tap or tap your own bpm of the beats and you can also select your frequency effects range low mid or high depending on what part of the song you want to affect of the eq and you also have your beat effects x pad this is really cool this is how i use most of my effects nowadays because it will work as long as you have your finger on the pad and then as soon as you let go of the pad the effect automatically shuts off and you can also quickly change between the different timing of your effects using the 16th, 8th, quarter, half, 3 quarters, 1, 2, and 4 for the different divisions of time for your effect. Next you have your 3 band EQ. These can either be full kill or ISO or they can also be the normal frequency change and you can set that up within your utility menu you also have your trim knob at the top for decks channel 3 and channel 4 you can choose to use either your computer your line or your phono for either one of them you can only use four decks of playback again using this in computer mode so you have to use this with virtual dj you also have to use it with serato dj or you can use it with record box dj to get all four decks or again you can have your external decks your external record dvs decks for 
record box DJ or you can have your external CDJs or your XDJs can link directly to this unit so that way you can use internal playback using your USB connections but that is for another video we'll someday have XDJs or CDJ 2000 Nexuses here on the side so that way you can see that working with four decks of goodness all the way across but as it is as it sits as a unit today you can only do two decks of internal playback which is one of my minor gripes because the Prime 4 of course as you know can do all four decks of internal playback but we're working with older technology on the inside of the XDJ XZ so we're not able to do that here all right moving along to the upper sections that you see here we'll start in the upper left this is your microphone section the two microphone inputs that we have on the back you have mic one and mic two you can turn them off or on with the switch here they all have an indicator showing you when they're on you can talk over that means the songs or the music or everything on your mix mixer will lower in volume so that way the mic can talk over you have your level your low mid and high EQs for all and then you have a feedback reducer which is either light or heavy so that way you can reduce the feedback that you're getting in a microphone when you are in a performance and somebody's using a mic that's cl too close to a speaker you can change that feedback reducer turn it on and off very easily with the push of the button and make sure you're not getting that crazy feedback when they're talking in the mic all the way over on the right you have your booth level knob your master control knob you also have your cue so you can cue up the master and you have a master eq with low mid and high so that way you can have a master EQ that will change the parameters of your sound all together next you have your decks and we'll go right to the middle with these gorgeous jog wheels these are like the best jog wheels that they have around you can easily adjust them to be light or very heavy they're basically the same jog wheels pulled from the 2000 Nexus, same jog wheels that are on your DDJ-1000, and they have these gorgeous screens in the middle, which will show you different parameters, different feedback that you need for your different tracks. It will show you the time elapsed, time that's there. It'll also show you your key and different things that you need right here for all the information. It has the outer ring, which is rubberized, just like what we find on the CDJ-2000s. You have that pressure top, and the lights underneath the LED ring will blink if you turn it on, so that way you can have them blink when the track is nearing the end or completion. Also, with the jog wheels, you have your vinyl speed adjust, so this way you can adjust the quickness of how quick it stops and it goes playback. You also have a direction reverse function when you have that sit down you guys can have the song play in reverse you also have your slip function here so that way you can slip anything that you guys have going on you can use your slip mode for doing your hot cue drumming or doing different loops and that way everything will still be playing underneath with the normal playhead you have your loop section here very familiar to those who've been using cdj's for some time you have your cue calls your deletes and your memory button you also have your shift button here Located same place on both decks, you have your track search and your search through the actual track you're in function. You have your play and pause button, feels exactly the same as what you have on your CDJ. You have your cue button here, and then you have your nice, very familiar pitch sliders for your tempo. You have a tempo reset button, and you have a tempo select button, so it can be plus or minus 6, 10, 16, or wide. And then you have a master tempo button here as well. And of course, you have your sync and your master button, so that way you can sync with other decks that you have here. When you're using this in computer mode and you have this linked, in order to change between decks 1 and 3 or 2 and 4, you have to hit shift on one side and then the menu utility button that will bring you to deck three on this side or deck four on that side when you hit that shift button that's over there they're going to have a new update coming soon where you can double tap the shift button and that should bring you to or from the different decks on each different side next we have your pads these are the same pads that they have on other equipment they're rgb backlit pads they are rubber they don't have a center click to them so they don't click when they're active but they're nice and spongy and they're perfect for setting up all your hot cues you have your hot cue your beat loop your slip loop and your beat jump functions here right on the pad modes also when using this with record box dj you get a lot more flexibility in your pads because you can actually use the pad editor and program these pads to whatever you want them to be you can also get your slicer mode in there you also get an expanded keyboard mode in there and you also have your different effects modes your pad effects so it's a lot more that you can do with these pads than you can do when this is in standalone mode when you're using this with record box dj next up with the screen all the way at the top 
We have your browse so that we can browse between your different tracks. You have a tag list. This is the tracks that you have tagged. You can hit info so you get info from your tracks. And then you also have a menu section so you can adjust different parameters within the utility menu. You have the option to use this with record box. You have the option to link this with your computer. That way you have your decks being controlled with the computer using either Serato, of course, Virtual DJ, or Record Box DJ. And you have your USB 1 and your USB 2. You use your jog wheel or your big oversized knob here in order to select the track that you're looking for at that time. Once you have your deck loaded, you get a waveform here on the bottom and you get another waveform here at the top. Once that waveform gets moving, you can either zoom into the waveform, zoom out of the waveform, and this is also touch strip. This is a touch screen here. So while you can see all the different information for your track, you can actually scroll through the different areas in your track really quickly. And you can see all the different cue points that you have set as well. Over here is also your navigation section, which is pulled kind of directly from your CDJ lineup. Uh, you can load your different decks using these buttons here. You have this big oversized knob. You can go back and go forward. You can tag a track to put it in that tag list section. And you can also go through to your shortcut and your track filter edit button is there as well. All right, so in conclusion, the Pioneer XDJ XZ is one of my favorite all-in-one DJ systems that they have on the market today. If I had to choose between this and the Prime 4 from Denon, I hate to say it, I'm sad to say it, but I would actually choose this right here, the Pioneer XDJ XZ. And the reason for that choice is because I'm a DJ from 20 years ago and I used to lug crates up and down the stairs and I used to use all turntables all the time and I still use my turntables in a mixer setup all the time. And this is the closest thing to that feel that I can get with the DJ equipment that I always used to use versus what's out there today. You have these nice big jog wheels and it feels really nice to the touch. These are still the best jog wheels in my opinion on any type of DJ device that's not an actively moving platter that does not have vinyl, real pieces of vinyl on top. This is the best that you're gonna get next to that. And the feel of the faders and the knobs and the crossfader and also just the decks themselves the deck feel is just always the best from the pioneer setup so far perhaps maybe with some of the new prime systems that's out there denon will finally get the picture of how we like to get our jog wheels feeling just like these unfortunately so a dj like me that's going on the premise of feeling and someone who likes to feel when they dj and just can't be replaced by a whole bunch of different gadgets and a different technology that you have there. And the Pioneer XDJ XZ has that. Unfortunately, it doesn't have that gorgeous screen that the Denon has. It doesn't have internal four deck playback and it doesn't have internal Wi-Fi. So it's a lot of other little things that it doesn't have. It doesn't have certain capabilities that the Prime 4 does, but it still does a lot of things right and it checks a lot of boxes for me. On the upside, we have the familiar feel of the Nexus flagship setup. We have a DJM 900 style mixer in the middle. It has all of the effects that you would need from that mixer and everything's laid out exactly how you would find in the club. It also has the DDJ 1000 style jog wheels right here on the top and they feel just as good as they do on the Nexus setup as well. They also have that full color screen inside so you're getting all of your track information at a really quick glance. It also has the input options for channels 3 and 4 and those inputs are DVS ready so you can run this using Virtual DJ DVS, Rekordbox DVS or Serato DJ DVS. And it also has all of your outputs covered as well. You have your booth output, you have your master output in XLR, you also have a master RCA output there. So you're very well covered in all of your inputs and outputs. It's also compatible with Serato DJ, Virtual DJ, and Rekordbox DJ when you want to use it with a computer. And when you don't want to use it with a computer, it's a fully functioning standalone unit that just has that really cool Nexus flagship feel that DJs everywhere are hoping and wanting for. It also has that familiar high-res screen, which is taken just from the other XDJ lineup and the CDJ2000 Nexus. So everything, again, will feel very familiar to someone who's been using that Nexus setup or the XDJ setup. 
on the downside it still has that old screen unfortunately it doesn't have those gesture and swipe controls like the prime 4 it also of course doesn't have that four deck playback internally that the prime 4 has as well and it's just very very big it's too big for most mobile djs to carry from gig to gig so they might want to get something that's a little bit smaller than this but other than that it's an excellent setup excellent choice for an all-in-one setup for anyone who wants that flagship style feel again i'm with you guys where when i first heard this coming out i didn't really want to like it i didn't think i was gonna like it as much as i did but then when i used it i actually played with it actually dj'd with it side by side with the prime 4 and i have to say this kind of stole it for me and i would definitely get one of these myself if this was my style of dj playback so for more on the written review summary, you guys can head on over to www.djbooth.net slash DJS. Then you guys can type in the blank Pioneer XDJXZ. And of course, you'll come up with the review to this bad boy. You'll see my pros and cons. And you'll see the unboxing video and this video there too, of course, along with the review summary. Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up if you like videos like this one. And as always, thanks for watching.